In this video, we will talk about the virtual and override keywords. The virtual and override using inheritance. Now what the virtual keyword does is the virtual keyword enables a data member to be overridden in a derived class. Now when you are creating a base class, you get to set the rules on what happens if your class is inherited from. So if you do not want a method or, or property to be their implementations to be changed in a derived class, then you can keep them non-virtual. But if you are if you are okay with the uh, with the data member's um, implementation being changed in a derived class, you need to mark those data members as virtual. So virtual is the way you kind of open up the data member so that, that it can be overridden in a derived class. Now to actually do the overriding, you have to use the override keyword. The override keyword allows an inherited data member's implementation to be modified. So the override keyword explicitly states that I know I am inheriting a method or a data member and I'm going to change the implementation of that data member in my class. Let's look at a very quick example here. I have a program that has a, a base class with nothing in it, just some class name to my base class. And then I've created a derived class which is inheriting, inheriting from my base class. So in my base class, let's create a little method here. I'm going to make a public about method. And this about method is just going to print out a line of text, console.writeLine, I am a base class. Okay. Now, this method exists in the base class, and when we use inheritance, the derived class should inherit that about method. So in program, let's create a base, a base class object. I'll call it MBC. And then we will create a derived class object named DC. And we will call the about method from both of them. So MBC about. And DC, the derived class, also has the about method because we inherited it from the base class. OK. So we will run this program. What we will see is that the derived class is inheriting the implementation of that method from the base class, which is what we would expect. Now let's say in my derived class I want to change that implementation. So maybe I would say public void about, make my own about method, and I will say console.writeLine, no, I am the derived class. Well, we have an issue here. When I create my own about method, what I'm doing is I'm, it's almost like I'm pasting one, an, an about method on top of the inherited method. I'm hiding it. Okay. What I really want to do is override it. And the reason we want to override and not just put a copy on top of it is due to polymorphism. And we'll talk about that in a later video. But I would like to override this about implementation. So let's put the keyword override here and see what we get. Well, we get an error. And the error says, I cannot override the inherited member, the about method, because it was not marked as virtual, abstract, or override. So what that means is, because I did not put virtual in my base class, I am not giving derived classes permission to override my method. But if I do add the keyword virtual here, I am allowing, I'm stating that this method is allowed to be overridden in a derived class. So by adding virtual keyword in my base class, I can now override that method in my derived class. And when we run our program, now we see that both the base class and the derived class have their own implementation of that about method. And now we have to the, the important part is this about method is the same method. It's an inherited method. So we've changed the implementation of an inherited method. 